Hi, thank you so much for clicking CSCM videos. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, Active Directory and uh, the components that actually Active Directory made of. Wherever we log in to the any corporate network or generally we do any like uh, authentication uh, kind of a stuff like when we're trying to log in onto our um, gmail account or any uh, social sites uh, like as a facebook facebook hotmail and so on so basically in corporate in environment active directory is responsible for to, to provide the authentication authorization and uh, audit auditing of uh, these stuffs like uh, when we log in like what happens and what the role and administrative has to be taken care of so let's start without wasting our time and if you are not subscribed to CSCMA, please do subscribe. Thank you. Active Directory uh, is a Microsoft Network Operating System. In general terms, so we call it uh, like an operating system facilitates an interface between a computer user and a computer hardware. And operating system responsible for uh, to perform all the basic tasks uh, like file management memory management process management uh, input output handling and all the um, controlling of all the peripheral devices so we can say that the uh, active directory is a network operating system it means like whatever we have in our network it manages everything it can be our uh, computer systems, uh, servers, networks, uh, printers, users, and so on. Uh, so Active Directory enables administrators uh, uh, to manage enterprise-wide uh, information efficiently uh, from a central repository uh, where that can, be, uh, that, that can be globally distributed. And once information about users and, and computers and printers and application and uh, other services uh, that has been added to the Active Directory, it can be made available for uh, to use throughout. And Active Directory is a major component in authentication, authorization and auditing. Uh, authentication basically uh, confirms, uh, uh, like uh, confirms user who they say they are like whenever we trying to log in by using our uh, username and the password so we enter add in to the forms and we uh, provides our credential to the systems and system authenticators uh, basically they uh, do, does the checking like uh, what uh, the, uh, this user is the correct uh, or not so authentication and once the authentication is done then next process goes for the authorization Authorization gives users uh, permission to access any resources. It's similarly when you uh, try to enter into the any building, uh, you, you you have to provide your ID card. That's basically a uh, task of the auth authentication. And once you enter into that building, uh, you can do your task that has been authorized you. And uh, uh, like what task you can do, these things are the uh, provided with the authorizations. And the auditing. As same as once the user is logged into the system uh, by authenticating himself uh, by you providing their credential and they perform, uh, they have their proper rights and uh, and they are doing their task that they are supposed to do. And once uh, like what they have done on that system once they are logged in, these things are the recorded under the auditing like uh, what application user uh, uses or uh, what changes he has been made on the system these things are basically handled by the active directory microsoft active directory and components of the uh, active directory when you talk about the active directory basically active directory is uh, made up of the two components these are the logical components and the physical component and first when you hear active directory you most likely focus on the logical components uh, that make up active directory the logical components uh, which administrators creates organize and manage includes the organizational units domains or uh, domain trees forest and the physical components are the domain controllers global catalog servers operations master and read only domain controllers so we can say that the whatever we have in a form of the server we called it the physical component 
and whatever we create uh, how we manage our users and things that comes under the logical components so let's take uh, take a look at the, them uh, one by one so we have here the logical component first we have the organizational unit or we call it as ous it is basically the container in a domain uh, that allow you to organize and uh, group resources for easier administration including uh, providing delegated delegating administrative rights and the second one is we have is the domain domain is basically and the administrative boundary for the uh, users and computers uh, which are uh, stored in a common directory database a single domain can uh, spam uh, multi multiple physical locations or the site and can contains millions of objects basically whatever entry we have into the active directory database or the in the in the, the active directory that we called it as an object and then the domain tree domain tree uh, basically collection of the domains that are the group together uh, in a hierarchical structure and these hierarchical structures also called the distinguished name they, uh, they are grouped together into the hierarchical structure and that share a common root domain a domain tree can have a single domain or the multiple domains and a domain uh, known as the parent domain uh, it can have a child and child can have uh, own uh, child child of child we call and uh, and when uh, the, these all child domains uh, combined uh, with the parent domains uh, name and it forms an unique uh, domain names uh, domain name systems and uh, that we also abbreviated as dns name the domain uh, with the tree have a contiguous uh, contiguous name space and next we have the forest forest is basically collection of domain trees it can have uh, one or more uh, domain trees and that shares a common adds active directory domain services a forest can contain one or more domain trees or domains and all of which are share a common logical structure global catalogs directory schema and directory configurations as well as the automatic uh, two way transit uh, trust relationship and a forest uh, can uh, can have a single domain or even a single domains uh, so once any uh, forest is created the single domain uh, first called it as the uh, for a uh, forest root domain <coughs> and for multiple domain trees each domain tree consists of the unique name space so these are the stuff uh, these are the four components uh, we are uh, we have in the logical components of the ad let's talk about the physical components of ad uh, here we have uh, domain controllers domain controllers is basically a windows servers uh, that contains the active directory database and all the domain controllers in a domain receive changes and replicate those changes to the domain uh, partition stored on all other domain controllers in the domain basically domain is uh, do domain controller is the server where the active directory database is mounted and these database uh, active directory database we call, uh, contains all the, all the information like uh, users uh, computers and whatever object entry we have these are stored into the active directory database and next we have the global catalog servers a domain controller that has store a full copy of active directory uh, objects in the directory for its host domain and a partial copy of all object for the all other domains in the forest basically uh, the other object from the other domain uh, it also known known as the as a the phantom uh, suppose when we have a object uh, stored into the a domain and the same object can be found onto the a b domain as well the entry of the a uh, can known as the the entry of the a is known as the phantoms and next we have the operation masters uh, we also called it as the fsmo fsmo role holders so it is basically a specialized domain controller uh, that performs certain task uh, so that multi uh, multi master domain controllers can operate and uh, synchronize properly read only only domain controllers are uh, basically 
are intended for use in a branch offices and servers in a low physical security environment uh, that holds only a non ratable copy of the Active Directory. So this is all we had covered like uh, what is Active Directory and uh, what are the what are the components of the AD. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.